Can I see what I do? Please, can you read this, my phone, please? Can I get somebody? Look at this. So what's the problem with the phone? When I move the video, it comes black, black. So, so that's why you don't post? Yeah, that's why I don't post nowadays. Oh. So even I'm guilty. Mm -hmm. You are guilty about it? Yeah. And and, and, and uh, what has been the problem? Is it the phone or the content? The, the phone. The phone is the yeah, problem. The, co the content just flows, but when I, it goes to the camera, mm -hmm. it's black. It's black. So, so, so whenever you get a video, uh, it doesn't g give out uh, the yeah, authenticity. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's your wish now? I get Talk to the people, they are here. I, my wish, I get just one Samaritan uh -huh. to send Gintu something to buy for me a phone. For him, this, my phone brings me down, very down, even it has cracked here. Okay. Yeah. It has a crack. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. We have another lady here. Today it's your days. Say what you have unto your, unto, unto your heart. Anything. Me, according to I, my my according what i have in my heart eh? i oh, even me i don't have a phone for sure oh eh. so uh a phone or school welcome back guys another moment again and we want to talk about what anyway my name is moses from moses 2m youtube channel east africa kenya and according to what's happening on the ground we want to say that little of video that's coming up about these two girls and their mentor that's going to and again we're gonna brief you about guilty Reba. um a lot of insane i've seen a lot of comments people are saying that guilty Reba has been arrested so let's find out on this video guys but before we do anything i want you to first of all watch this first clip because we're gonna start it right here Take a moment, subscribe, like, share, don't forget to comment. Today's another beautiful day coming live from East Africa. Let me show you what's happening, guys. A very beautiful day and the sun is shining super nice. We are coming live from home, home, home. Everything is at home. Today I'm kind of going to talk about a lot of truth, truth things. I'm not going to analyze too much, but when I talk about truth on these young girls, because I love them. They are young ladies. They, are, they need a future. But let's find out some things that maybe we don't understand, but we are just seeing them passing and goals. So let's check on these little two girls and let's find out what's happening in this village. And again, I saw something on the comments. Oh, that really shocked me about our audience who are planning to travel to Kenya. Also, we're going to brief on that. Anyway, guys, check on this video. And I want you just to assist me here. Tell me, what have you studied? Just on the comment, what have you studied? What did you like and what's your final judgment? What's your final take on these two young girls who are right on that video? And again, this you are planning to visit our country, I want to tell you something about visiting Kenya right now because Kenya is a very big town. It's a very big, it's a very big country. So I want to tell you something about that. But let's begin by talking to these young girls. Let's find out something on them that maybe it's hidden kindly. This is not my clothes. I asked for somebody to help me, even one that is see how it it's called maternity. Maternity, so that I can I cannot again expose my body. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, exactly. That's why Do I. Do you think that you don't have any clothes to wear? I have, but eh, you know. Dar.com. No, she needs to wear now. The. The you know, and, uh, you know, you know. <laughs> this video is the whole to us. This and 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 what. Are you watching <laughs> so that's why I have decided. Let me ask for one so that when my people see watch how you. watch me, they don't see anything. See, no, <laughs> you know, <laughs> as I told you, yeah, that's a crack. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. We have another lady here today. It's your days. Say what you have unto your and unto your heart. Anything, me, according to I. My my according what I have in my heart, eh? I oh, even me I don't have a phone for sure. Oh. Eh. So uh, a phone or school? Uh, eh. <laughs> Fast. Now, you have heard on this video. Number one, this girl, young girl, who is in a white dress, 
he's he was supposed to be taken to school because she got pregnant prematurely when well, she's still young by the way and I had this like 16 years maybe 16 18 but I, no one knows the real age of this unless the parents speak that's number one number two I want us to talk about we're gonna have dwell much about her first then we jump to the black one I don't want to call their names and guys this was happening this girl during this brief and short interview you have had her only requesting to have a phone and then the other time I heard that she's having a YouTube channel guys sometimes you know we are spoiling our children or we are spoiling these people in two ways number one you have noticed very well this girl got pregnant prematurely number two she's still young and number three she has not complete the education level so which one is which i want to talk to these people who are encouraging these people like the other time guys let me tell you the truth i saw this lady that i found and this lady was telling me no i want to be i want to finish school then i i, I join youtube but she was in uh, college by the way i understand that is very encouraging we encourage that to do that because youtube might act as a source of income but i'm someone that has been on youtube let's talk this truth let's speak the truth right now this girl is requesting for a phone not even school fees not even uh, school support it's directly she needs a phone to do videos this girl has not even attained 18 years this girl does not have id she's still young she's a school girl and then the only thing in their mind right now is to do youtube do you think this thing is going to spoil these girls do you think we are spoiling them we are trying to show them a very wrong direction because if you are encouraging them to do youtube and then they stop school and other things let me tell you there's no way you can be a youtuber at the same time you are in school and it until it was and you are a female you have a kid it will never work if i'm lying someone confirm to me number one this lady has got a small baby she has to breastfeed the baby after school the same girl you need to go to school and come home do homework number two you want to do your videos number three you want to have an airtime on your phone to upload your videos let's speak the truth sometimes guys truth remain the truth I think over here again to you are uh, like you miss you miss some points because I think you will have told this girl to strictly concentrate in school if it's school but the aim of encouraging this lady to come and do YouTube it will never work guys I'm a youtuber I've tried this and this why this all these people you are seeing right now on internet are here they run to a matter of great support but at least they were all above years they were all independent people they were done with their schooling but now this young girl you want to give this young girl a burden that will lead her number one she might fall not to go to school or she might go to school and fail terribly that's like you've done nothing or you will make this girl to be lazy to attend to the baby or this girl is either you're gonna start youtube until it fails so it's all those are failures because this young girl if she truly needs to go to school let her go to school and if she truly need to be home and do content and attend to the baby to find other things to do we have a lot of things that someone can do by the way of which are gonna go into that point and if i'm lying guys i'm here you correct me let's help this lady once a legal has attained such age like 17 years or 16 it's only one year to 18 and once they attend to 18 years to have a baby it comes very tricky for them even to be in class that's the reality so it's either you shut them down give them counseling and let them let this lady tell you what she really needs if it's a phone to do content let it be a phone to do content and i'm also wondering uh, you know youtube once someone was attended 18 years once you have your national id that's what youtube recommends and if you are doing it at a younger age it's still not recommended so we have to check on these two two ways I wish you would have encouraged this girl to go to school and i'm wondering guys I, you've been watching these videos this girl is in which level if it's a primary level the, then primary level i think it's not that expensive that we do pay fee and everything but if it's in high school then fine i think we need to check on these two but the reality is i think if you are in school guys when you are going to school our times 
we were not even allowed to touch even my dad's phone just to touch a phone because they want you to go to school and concentrate in class and even right now in kenya guys no school girl or boys is allowed to have a phone all you should do is to have your books and be in school and study the reason being people thought that or, the, or it's always a norm that once you have a phone you'll never concentrate in your books that's the reality you'll never at what time do you want to join our uh, internet to watch views at uh, to watch at what time do you want to do your things there it will never work so uh, it's it's real it's going to be a real straightforward support sponsor or someone who is want to support this girl encourage them first of all don't buy them phones but buy them books and school materials let them be in school and promise them once you are done with your schooling i'll come out to buy you a phone or a camera to continue doing now uh, your videos because it's not easy guys it's not is doing content is not easy for example over here you are going to school early in the morning coming back in the evening at what time are you going to do your videos or you will be posting once a month and when posting why, why posting once a month which means your phone should only be busy on phone chatting and other things that doesn't add up for a student so my my my, my advice is thou shall not let this girl have a phone or let her be in school or have a phone so it's a two things but don't give her a phone to do content and at the same time you're paying fee you're going to do nothing that's the reality and that's the real fact i know that's the real fact and once they have a phone now they are going to she can even mess up and get another child because of that now they can communicate with their friends and whatever in school and blah blah blah, blah you know someone meets you on the road hey we have, we have phone number you know so these are the things that sometimes we need to consider and we need to check and to before we react i didn't buy that idea of this girl asking for a phone instead this girl should ask for a school and let it be a school and even if if it's good guys i encourage this she better be in school fully without even having a phone attend to the baby and be in school because it's not easy doing content you must find a credit instead of buying airtime to upload the same time maybe you don't even have money to buy milk for your baby so instead let them be in school and attend to their babies so that when they if they have like even 50 kenya ceilings they can buy milk for their children to drink and if you have a 50 i know i know guys let me tell you if you have a phone phone really consumes it's not a basic having a phone is not a basic need but to us it is because this is a source of income let me tell you the truth but if you are just there you want to attend to your baby you want to upload a video you need airtime you need also to attend to your house duties and your silly school girl let's not lie to this lady man no 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 let's not lie to that girl let's help this lady if you want to help them get to help them but do away with that issue of content creation in this girl if you find someone who is ready to support this lady you better concentrate in classwork and if there's something i've studied in this girl this girl this girl's mind is almost out of school and if you don't rush with her and if you don't give her proper counseling then she might disappoint you ah uh, dealing with the ladies is not easy i'm high up some in school dealing with ladies is not easy i'm just on toes of them every time i'm asking i'll go to school have you done exam where are your results to i know that i do that because we want their future and also if they are being sponsored guys for you not to be called a scammer you need to work extra hard to make sure they're in school at all times at all times so don't just do it here and leave it there so kindly i encourage you bro if you have started to do this work kindly perform in that uh, according to this simple clip that i've done on this video i want you guys to judge on the uh, give me a comment down there that if I, i'm lying let me know and if it's the truth but the truth be truth this lady if it's a matter of going to school do with the content man do with the content because you have not even yet been monetized how long will you struggle to get monetized and how what guys i think you understand what i'm talking about i'm going to end it right here let's jump to another girl now we want to talk about this lady in black then we finish up with giti riba story so let's finish up with the, we join into this lady right here i don't know jamaica queen yeah let's talk about the jamaica queen briefly watch this clip here that's coming up then we finalize it and see what's happening in the meantime subscribe guys like and also say i wrote to 5000 subscribers and soon we're gonna hit there me and you much love let's watch this video they don't see anything see 
No, you know, <laughs> I, as I told you in the video, mm -hmm. I'm a mother of two. Yeah. When you pass through my videos, Obasa, I'm just decent. Did you just hear that, guys? When this lady is saying that she has got two babies, and when I look at her face, and I look at it's Mbasa's face, guys, they're just the same age. They're just the same age, similarly. So I don't know where the rain started beating this community, but we need to find out before even trying to solve anything. Because when now you are talking about the guy who impregnated Itsombaza must be arrested. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. But what if you go to court and you do something called DNA and later you come to realize that he's not the one? Or did he say the one? Fine, he might say the one. And the best thing is always to find justice for the vulnerable. Because it's not good to impregnate a young teenager girl. But there's something I've come to notice. Right now, maybe you're going to arrest this guy. But what about other ladies who got pregnant at like, like three years ago? Four years? Five years? Two years? Or one year ago? And they dropped out of school because of that. What are you going to do about this? And he's going to be the first person to be arrested in this village or we have others. What I'm wondering still is that I came to notice that these people, <laughs> guys, do you know, over here in my village, I cannot date any person that's come from our clan. Like we call it Kogelo, like in this area. I cannot because that's a taboo. But I'm wondering how these guys, these guys are doing it. Because the lady was saying that, oh, that guy comes around our home. So it's like you are dating your sister. Or a cousin, man. It's not a good thing. And what I wanted to say about this lady, saying that she got pregnant. And right now, she has got two babies. And when you look at her, she should be in school the same. And she says she's married. So I don't know what's the criteria, how these people are, and what's the most effect. Before when we react, guys, let's find out what brings all this. And I'm pretty sure even today, if you go to the hospital in that area, you'll find that there's a teenager there who went there for maternity. Believe me not, you will have to have. Just go to a nearby hospital or facility, you'll find that there's someone at a younger age who went to give birth. So which means it's something that has been happening in this community for the longest time ever but the community has been doing nothing and being that you are the community and you need to do something so Gintu, I don't, i'm wondering why you guys only come out to emphasize on this and leaving the others or are you still going to follow up on the others too that happened back then i just want to know i'm just willing to know because we have a lot of people who were affected long long time ago and right now they haven't find any justice they always clear it up as parents and this is where it always brings up all these things to escalate so much because the parents will come oh your son gave uh, uh, my uh, impregnate my girl okay oh sorry sorry for that man ah, let's find a way now we can put it to the family and we clear it up and then these girls might not know what's happening but in the next future they will now start understanding what's happening. Like this girl right now, uh, this lady called the, the Nairobi and uh, Nebonse Queen, I think now she understands what's happening. And she can now know because of the frustrations and everything that when you get pregnant, people in the village are not that well off. The reason being, people don't go to school. And that's why if you find a lot of girls, you'll find that uh, if you have 10 girls, uh, like uh, let's say 10 youths, who are done you can see them like now they are in their age they are yet to be married you'll find that out of 10 only two went to school the rest gave birth and relaxed at home i think these things should be now start involved by the area chief and the parents number one is starting the parents the immediate family how do you train your children what do you do about such cases how do you go about them so that even the people who are growing there are you teaching them the traditional norms are you teaching them that? That you should not marry your sister, you should not sleep with your cousin. Are you talking them, are you teaching them such things? And if you are doing, what action do you take when such things happen? I think if you start learning such things, we'll start changing things in the community and in this village. 
because I was so hearing this young girl saying that right now she has got two babies. And when I look at her, she's at not at she has even even attained her twentieth years. If too much, it's twenty years. So it means she started giving birth at sixteen, seventeen. And what brings that? It might be because of poverty. What do we do to sustain our children? What do we do to provide our children with basic needs? Do we have counselors for them? Do we take them to school according to? And in school, do we follow up on what's happening? Or, you know, uh, like a long time when we were growing, girls were not being given that priority to be in school. They only care about boys. And now you see boys are being supported well in school, and then they come back to affect the, the girls they found back in the village. Who has nothing? Who need money? Who need funds? Who need funds? Who need cars? Who need clothes? Who need pads? And those are the things that are happening. But why do we find? How can we find a way on how we can finalize and finish in this all challenge that people are going up in the village? I want to talk briefly about Gitriba arrest. You are now saying that Gitriba has been arrested. I've not seen him. I've tried to call this guy because my friend he did not receive, and that was just a night when I saw first person uh, up, up, um, posted that and I'm wondering fine you are going to harass this guy will harass him bring change into this girl's life fine it's good for someone to bring or for someone to get justice but how do we prevent it before it happens these are the things we need to consider and we need to check onto someone once said that once your daughter given birth do not beat them up don't chase them away but by that time you need to treat them better or the best thing to do is tell them the effect of getting pregnant at early age before they get it so that when they get the pregnant they already know rather than keeping quiet until these people are affected then you come out now start talking too much and doing well saying this saying this it doesn't add, add up this will never help them they, at this stage this is the time that you need now to sit that step them down and let them know what should be done. Nowadays, people grow so fast. Like a girl at 15 years, they already know the bad and the good things. That's the reality. Even though when you go to the law of Kenya, that state that once you are, you, you are found with a, 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 a school girl or a teenager girl, that's a defilement case. True, it is. It is. But now my question is, what about justice for others like this girl, Nairobi? Uh, because already, according to the statement, she's having two kids right now. That means she was impregnant when still at a younger age. I, if I'm lying, someone can confirm that to me. I didn't love the perspective on how things were coming out from the ground, guys. And we start saying that, oh, love this person, this person. My question is, why only on camera? What about those people who are affected behind the camera? Have you been walking around the entire village? Or it's a, it's an, a plan that's coming up? Now you arrest, maybe, I don't, I don't want to talk much about this river arrest, because this guy have not called, confirmed this, and we are going to bring you a video once we confirm the arrest and why he was arrested and what's the criteria, and these things, we're going to bring them to you, because we can just just come out and do videos without clarifications. We are here to analyze and to make you understand things that you are not understanding. Like right now, people are not, no one has confirmed that Git river was arrested, and why he was arrested. He might be arrested because of something else. It's normal for people to arrest someone. It's a normal thing. Someone must mistake you. I don't want to protect anyone. But if you are the one who did this, bro, you did the wrong thing. And I know you are not alone. We have a lot of people who do the same thing. But I'm very happy, guys. I'm very happy because this thing just happens in Nyabuanzi. If, because, you know, we should not even bring Marwa in because these people grew together. These people did their things together in the community and everything they have been doing at themselves. So when you are trying to bring even Marwa in, it doesn't add up. I think Mara would have, would have come in if there's someone who came out of the country, who came somewhere, maybe within the country, and impregnate the girl. That one would have talked about. But it doesn't add up anyway. So, let's wait and see. We'll get you the real result about the Tiriba and what happened and how things will be happening. But always, let's try to find on this both sides the effect and the advantages. How do we go about such things? Yes to prevent and stop this teenager, young girl, pregnancy, premature pregnancy in the village. Let's check on that, how we can prevent, not only in Nyabuanze, but even in other villages. I want to stop here briefly, but to uh, let me talk about now 
are visiting Kenya uh, our, our, our visitors who are planning to visit Kenya but they are now talking about we cannot visit you because of the drama in the village our, you know people may be someone might believe that what's happening in Yabuanza it's happening in our village it does not happen that way it happens only in their village and that's their things but they are fighting their own fight. That's the only thing that I love about that. They let them fight their own fight. But kindly, if you want to visit Kenya, Nyabuanza is just a small village. In Kenya, we are having 47 can counties. And the 47 counties, Nyabuanza is, one of the count is, 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 is within one of the counties in just a small village. It's just the same way you can see it's a small center. It, this thing cannot affect the entire country. And if you are planning to come to Kenya, I want to tell you this for free. Welcome to Moses' home. I'm here. I'll be here happy to meet people from outside the country who are coming to visit us and we'll accommodate you in Soyu Tua. My village is a very super cool village. Maybe they start fighting me when I, I become big, but right now I'm the only YouTuber in this area. Yeah, true. I'm the only YouTuber in our area. And it's a very big place. So if you are willing to visit this place, kindly most welcome. It's very far with Nabuanzi. So let their things they are doing because Marwa made it better and now they are spoiling everything let them spoil the, their, their village but ours we are not spoiling anything and we call upon everyone who is willing to visit kenya do not cancel your trip visit kenya because kenya is a very big country visit kenya look at us we have a lot of youtubers who are not even doing these negative things find them they'll come they'll show you the world they'll show you every place that you are you'll have the moment of breeze in the country this way um, i just need to receive one international guest who is coming to kenya so that we have a moment and walk around you enjoy and that's the fact. With me, I welcome you all. Kindly, guys, most welcome to our village at any time. Come one, come all. Let's be together. Let's enjoy the moment. Let's make friends. Let's keep going. I don't say that we will not visit you. No, do not hesitate visiting our country because of Nyabuanse village, because of the few people who are doing their negativity things. Let them proceed with that. But you, this will not stop you. We have a peaceful villages over here. Come over. We'll have you. We'll enjoy. We'll that's why so i wanted to talk about that come if you want to invest in kenya you are allowed to come in kenya find what you want do everything that you want for example even in nyabwansi you see uh uh jamaican Ako is doing her things but people are making video doing a lot of noise but he's continuing with his life once he's done he leave go come back and recite there nothing much buy his vehicle from the, the home to the town do his things and comes back and you are very safe and this thing is just for a season they will never love for a year this uh, reaction and other things will never last for one year. I believe me not. They're going to end very soon. And if you want to know, these people are not even posting daily videos. If you want to compare those who begin this follow-up, follow-up, nothing much. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Like, share, and also subscribe. Amazing moment. Moses, too, I'm happy to meet you. I'm very, very grateful. And let's keep on pushing, pushing, pushing.